a very good morning to all of you today we are going to start with a very interesting chapter this is from your ebs book chapter number 8 and the name of the chapter is animals around us now you must be thinking that oh i know all the animals and their names and everything i did sounds of animals and animals and their babies and i i know everything so what is this chapter about well this chapter takes you into more details about animals let us open our book and start studying question number 1 what are the names of the smallest and the biggest animal you have seen okay okay which animals have you only heard about right so we are going to today learn about animals of different sizes animals of different shapes animals that are not commonly seen and the eating habits of animals so we now begin with the first topic animals of different sizes look at these little animals there on the screen the ant the mosquito and the butterfly these are all very small animals okay animals such as the rabbit squirrel dog rat wolf etc are small animals so you have these as very small and you have these as small animals animals such as lion tiger bear etc are big animals animals such as whale giraffe elephant etc are very big animals look at this interesting fact in the corner dinosaurs were huge animals that lived millions of years ago they are now extinct animals of different shapes animals greatly vary in their shapes some animals have legs okay here you can see a lot of pictures of animals which have legs like the millipede the fish the bird frog and the cow we see a number of animals having legs yes we see a number of animals having legs the legs differ from animals to animals the land animals use their legs for walking and running on the ground worms and snakes have elongated and tubular bodies they do not have legs centipedes and millipedes are long and look like worms but they are not worms they have many many legs most fish have spindle shaped and streamlined bodies with pointed snouts they do not have legs but they have fins instead birds have small and compact bodies they stand upright on two legs they have two wings for flying frogs and toads have small and squat bodies they have four legs cows buffaloes horses dogs cats etc have compact bodies supported by four legs I would like to show you the pictures of the animals that I am talking about. They are there on your screen, as you can see. Lizards and crocodiles have long, tapering bodies, supported by four short legs. Their bodies remain close to the ground as they crawl around. Insects have six legs. Spiders and scorpions have eight legs, and prawns and crabs have ten legs. Prawns use their legs for swimming. Some animals have unusual body shapes. The starfish has five arms spreading out from a center. Sea anemones look like flowers, like, while jellyfish look like parachutes. Animals having tails. We see a number of animals around us having tails. Their tails differ from animal to animal. A lizard, a mouse, a cat, a dog, a cow, a buffalo. a horse a monkey they all have tails animals use their tails in many ways the tails of most water animals serve to move and steer them squirrels use their tails to keep their balance when they are leaping and climbing kangaroos prop themselves up with their tails spider monkeys and possums grasp things with their tails fish have well developed tails and fins most fish swim by bending their powerful muscular tails from side to side dolphins and whales 
swim by moving their massive tails up and down rather than from side to side so you must have often seen uh, animals with a lot of tails let us move on to our next sub topic animals that are not commonly seen look at these animals these are pictures of a penguin an ostrich a kangaroo a panda and a koala bear we read the names of many animals in books and we also see them on television or in films but in reality we have not seen them there are many animals we have only heard about some of these are as shown in these pictures eating habits of animals so different animals have different eating habits uh it, it just like us we also have like very different eating habits there are plant eating animals then there are flesh eating animals there are animals which eat both plant and flesh also so let us read a little more about such animals plant eating animals Animals that eat only plants are called herbivores. Various plant eaters eat different parts of a plant like the bat, the bulbul and the fruit fly, they eat fruits. Pigeon, dove and sparrow eat seeds and grains. Grasshopper, earthworm and snail have leaves, while cow, goat, deer and horse feed on grass. Flesh eating animals. Animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivores. they are also called predators plant eaters are the prey of many animal eaters the small animal eaters are in turn the prey of the larger animal eaters here you can see some carnivores like the crocodile snake eagle and the frog ants mynas and vultures feed on the flesh of dead animals they are called scavengers plant and flesh eating animals some animals like crows bears and human beings eat both plants and flesh of other animals animals that eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores chickens feed on grains worms and termites ducks feed on grass snail and insects other example of omnivores are the bear monkey rat pig and dog let us quickly recall what we have learnt in this chapter there are many types of animals around us animals are of different sizes they can be very small small big and very big animals also are of different shapes they have different number of legs some animals have different types of tails there are many animals we have only heard about they are difficult to find different animals have different eating habits based on their eating habits animals can be divided into three categories or four categories herbivores carnivores scavengers and omnivores i hope the simple but easy chapter give you a good classification of the different types of animals have a good day until we meet again for the next chapter thank you